Hello friends, my name is Eric Beck, and welcome to Backyard Effects, the cool new show where I... Wait, um... Why am I a, a puppet? I... I'm... No. No, I'm supposed to be a... No! If you haven't noticed, this week's episode's all about puppets. We're going to build the best Muppet-style puppet we can on whatever budget the Wheel of Prosperity gives us. I'm going to let Gary spin the wheel because he is my oldest and dearest puppet. I love him as though he sprang from my very own felt womb. Not, not that I have a, a womb of, of felt or any other. I uh... Let's spin the wheel! <laughs> Now I'm heading out of town to get some important puppet supplies. I'm here in Fremont, California at Bob's Foam Factory, where I got all the foam I need for my puppet and expert advice. I got this cubic foot of foam at Bob's for less than $15. If you don't have a foam specialty store in your area, you can get a pretty good sized chunk of styrofoam at most craft stores. Either way, you're gonna need this spray adhesive. It's great stuff, but it's a little expensive at $10 a can. We'll probably only use a quarter of it for this project. In order to start work on our puppet head, we're gonna need a specialized tool. An electric turkey carver. Now I'm not gonna include the cost of this in our project because I know there's someone you can borrow one from. Just make sure and clean all the foam off before you give it back to grandma. Super time lapse. Start hacking away at that foam block. Once you've got the basic shape, you'll need to cut a space for the mouth and in the neck for your hand to go. Next, using our spray adhesive and some fleece from the fabric store, we're gonna make some puppet skin. Lastly, add some felt hair and bottle cap eyes, and you've got this. Stay tuned after the break. We'll finish our puppet project and see what happens when Eric goes over budget. The best place to get puppet clothes is at your local thrift store. I got all the clothes for our new puppet for $4. That brings the total cost of our do-it-yourself puppet to $26.50. Hey, Gary. Okay. $26.50? Yeah. Hey, Eugene. $26.50's over budget. Yeah, but it's like $1.50. What's that? You know the rules. Rules? I don't... Ow! Ow! Oh! Woo! If you have any questions about the build, log on to IndieMogul.com. For now, enjoy the test film. So, Gary, Eugene, how was school? Uh, it was okay. Coach made us run extra laps for practice. Mm-hmm. Eugene? School is lame, as usual. Especially since you made me join math club, Dad. Well, hard work and structure is good for young puppets. Puppets? Puppets, Dad? Oh, that's great. You know, we're not all puppets. And by the way, my day at school was great. Thanks for asking. Okay, Eric. Sounds like you got something on your mind. Shut up, Dad. Don't try to act like you give a crap. All you care about is your precious puppet sons. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a puppet, and I never will be. Oh, now, boys, it's not Eric's fault he's such a little bitch. <laughs> 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 Backyard Effects is serious about connecting with its viewers, and the best way to do that is by going to IndieMogul.com and uploading your videos today. We want clips of your special effects, video comments on the show, or even ideas for future projects. 
Every month, we'll take the best videos and feature them in their own podcast. You can use an old TV like this one as an external monitor. It's great for color correcting and, of course, shooting with puppets. Hey, my name is Daniel Rigdon, and you're about to see a clip from my first high-definition short film, Prick, which I wrote, directed, filmed, and edited myself. Enjoy. <laughs> 